Assalamu alaikum. Today I'm going to explain how we can connect Arduino to MATLAB Simulink through serial communication. Uh, and in serial communication, MATLAB doesn't have any idea that they are communicating with Arduino and the same. Uh, exchanging ma data between MATLAB and Arduino will be in the uh, type of bytes and uh, we going to use uh, a specific terminator so let's uh, start here in uh, MATLAB first I'm going to get to an instrument control toolbox and get serial configuration block serial receive and serial send and because I'm already connecting uh, Arduino through USB to the computer uh, MATLAB has already configured the COM the name of port COM4 okay uh, I will need also source to send numerical data and sync to display the received data uh, okay so let's connect them for the serial com configuration serial port okay com4 I will use baud rate 150,200 I will keep all the same as default <coughs> we're going to send number to MATLAB and we will make a program in Arduino oh, sorry I will send number to Arduino and Arduino is going to add 5 to this number and send it back to MATLAB all through serial communication uh, I have to configure data type to be single here also I will uh, uh, define a terminator that's carriage return and a new feed new line for serial receive I will also define terminator carriage return and and here that type single okay and let's display it uh, as a decimal uh, this uh, time I will make it infinity the simulation time okay right now we finished configuration for the MATLAB Simulink side for Arduino side I'm going to use union to change between uh, bytes and fault and float data type so I'll be T2F okay I will use byte that T with 16 uh, size of 16 bytes and float fl and I will call this union u also I will configure buffer size and buffer uh, in order to receive data from MATLAB so constant integer buffer size they call 16 byte buff buffer size okay so uh, before I start uh, write code in setup and loop I will define our main two function it's uh, read from MATLAB and write from MATLAB the first function will return the type of float and this is the number that I received from MATLAB read from MATLAB okay I will start by reading byte data from MATLAB serial dot read bytes until and we put our terminator carriage return a new line buffer and buffer size and then I'm going to uh, store this data 
inside my union variable p so I'm going to say from integer i equal to 0 i less than buffer size and then increment i get my byte data p for the index i equal buffer for the index i okay once i get uh, my bytes in the variable p i can get its uh, value in float from the corresponding value corresponding value in float from this variable f val okay so this function will return first yes I, I have to get float uh, corresponding value I will call it I will uh, save it in variable called output and it will equal u dot f val so I get bytes I, I already read bytes from MATLAB and I convert it to float and I will return this variable output okay so in this way I have already read data from MATLAB the second function is to write to MATLAB okay and uh, it will take input number float number the value that we want to write to MATLAB in the form of bytes so I will configure byte p and do cast for this number number so and then write it here write p was the size of 4 it's ok you can change it as you want serial write new line my first uh, element in terminator <coughs> this is sorry this is carriage return my first element in terminator serial dot write and this one is the new line the second element in the terminator so we finished our main two function okay and stop we just want to start by uh, we want to start our serial communication and we're going to define our baud rate and we write serial underscore 8 in 1 actually this is the default value if you didn't write, write it it's okay I just want to show you if you want to if you want to change any configuration for f in, in, uh, in the serial communication you can change this one but uh, otherwise this is the default value you can even delete it no problem in the loop I will start to check if we have any uh, any data in, in our serial communications available bigger than zero if there is any data available in serial communication please read it so I will see ask him to read from MATLAB read from MATLAB and I will uh, I will make one more variable here float my val and I will store the variable that I read from MATLAB in, in this variable read from MATLAB okay and then I will make just delay not to make to not to make sure that there will not be any interference between each data and then I will write to MATLAB this is a function which we defined and I will write the same value and plus 5 just uh, to make any any change in in uh, our data 
Okay, so I right now expect if I send any data from MATLAB to Arduino, I expect to get this data added by 5. <coughs> okay, let's upload this to our Arduino. Oh, we have to save it. Okay, it's uh, my sketch. Okay, right now it's compiling. We have a problem. Write to MATLAB. Uh, sorry, we have. We, I haven't re uh, written. Write to MATLAB. It should be capital M. Okay. Spelling is important. It's compiling, compiling. Mm -hmm. I hope it will be upload. Okay, uploading. So, done uploading with no issues. So let's uh, start by maybe 10 and I expect right now to get value of 15. We have to wait until... Until it start running. Okay, 15 here. So if I wrote uh, 100, it should be 105. If I wrote uh, 9530, it should be 9535. Yes, that's all. Thank you.